Learn to field with a gold glove in this game we call Superstar. Create a circle by placing five cones on the ground about 10 feet apart and divide your team into groups of five. Players stand one to a cone with one ball per group. Whether you're playing with baseballs or softballs, this game looks exactly the same. On your call, the player with the ball may throw it to any teammate except for the ones directly next to them. The player who catches it transfers the ball smoothly from glove to hand, then gets rid of it as quickly as possible. Great job. Move your feet, move your feet. Boom, keep your feet moving. Keep your feet moving. Encourage groups to track how many catches they make before dropping the ball. Then challenge them to beat their record the next time. Four, five, keep it going. No drops. Ah! Remember, a quick transfer is about more than just a fast arm. So encourage players to keep their hands out, knees bent, and hips low, just as they would in the actual game. Tango, one, two, three, four, go! Great job. Players sharpen their throwing accuracy in this game we call Four Corners. Divide your team into four groups and send each group to a different base. Everyone has a glove. The first player in each group gets up on the bag. Whoever is at catcher gets a ball. Whether you're coaching baseball or softball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, go. the players throw the ball around the diamond, from catcher to first, to second to third, and back to home. Catcher will step, throw, catch, turn, step, throw, catch, turn, step, throw, all the way around the horn. After two rounds, change the order. Now going from catcher to second, to first, to third, and back to home. Play two more rounds before the next players in each line are up. Next group up. Count how many times the team can throw the ball without dropping it. Remind them that the best way to whip the ball around the field is with a smooth transfer, moving the ball from glove to hand in one fluid motion. In the actual game, that can be the difference between getting the out or allowing a run. Batting practice reaches a fever pitch in this game we call Think Fast. Line up your team in foul territory. The first player steps up to the plate with a bat. You set up four feet to the side of home plate with a bucket of two different colored plastic balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Soft toss two different colored balls at the same time towards the player. While they're in the air, call out one of the colors. White. The batter will already be in motion and must adjust to hit the correct one. They get a point for every successful hit. After five swings, they move to the back of the line. Whoever has the most points once everyone's gotten a turn wins the round. Pitch recognition is vital when it comes to success at the plate. Yellow. <laughs> Knowing what pitches not to swing at is just as important. Think Fast helps prepare players to make split decisions on game day. White. Nice. Double the tease means double the fun in this game we call Inside Outside. Line your hitters up in foul territory and place two tees at home. One in front of the inside of the plate, raised to the hitter's hip. Another on the outside corner of the plate, raised to the hitter's thigh. You stand off to the side with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, the hitter swings at the ball on the inside tee, aiming to pull it between second and third base. Inside! There you go, better. After six tries, they swing at the ball on the outside tee, trying to send it between first and second base. Outside! Very nice. Give players a point every time they send the ball on target. Then challenge them to improve their directional hitting in the next round. Pull your hands inside. I'm staying there. Ugh, I'm through that ball. Remind players that even though the tees are in two different areas of the strike zone, the goal for both is the same. To stay inside the ball and hit a line drive without pulling it too far in either direction. Just like that. Fielders practice their footwork and throwing mechanics while runners round the bases. This is Beat the Ball. 
send five players to the four infield positions and home plate. Then, line up the rest of the group as runners behind the plate. Finally, place a ball halfway up the line between home and third base. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, the runner at home begins sprinting around the bases. At the same time, the player at third charges in to field the ball as the shortstop slides over to cover third. The fielders throw the ball around the diamond, from first to second to third to home, in a race to get the ball to the plate before the runner does. Heads up! Oh, out of order. Fielders will need to use proper footwork while transferring the ball around the diamond. Remind them to keep their feet moving so they stay in rhythm. Remind runners to ignore the fielders. The best way to beat the ball is to keep their heads down and hustle. Oh boy, good job! Ah! Fielders learn to make the play at every position in this game we call Gold Glove. Have your team take the field at each position. You grab a bat and a bucket of balls and set up near the mound. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Hit balls to every player on the field, starting in the outfield. Send two balls to each outfielder, who field them and throw to the cutoff on the way to second. For the left and center fielders, that's the shortstop. For the right fielder, it's second base. Then back up towards the plate and hit two more balls to each outfielder. This time, they throw home, one's hitting the cutoff and the other on the fly. Next up, infielders. Hit grounders to each position and have them record the out at first, except the player at first who throws to third. Then hit to the infielders to turn a double play, from second to first, then from home to third. Finally, finish up with a few pop-ups for the catcher. Keep the whole team involved on each play by calling out in-game scenarios. In the actual game, each defensive play depends on where the base runners are, what the score is, and the number of outs. Getting the out requires fielders to use their minds just as much as their bodies. So make sure they stay focused and dialed in, no matter where the ball is headed. Hitters lay down bunts as fielders try turning them into outs. This is bunting bonanza. Send fielders to each position to play defense. The rest of the group is on offense, with a runner on first, a hitter at the plate, and everyone else on deck. You stand in front of the pitcher's mound with a ball. Finally, set up four cones as gates for the batter to aim their bunt towards. Here's how it looks. You pitch the ball to the hitter, just like in batting practice, but here, they're only allowed to bunt. To make the play, the fielders must execute proper rotation, with second base and shortstop moving to cover first and third. Give the offense a point if the batter bunts the runner to second, and two points if they're also safe at first. The defense gets a point if it gets the runner out at first, and three points if they can turn a double play. Play until everyone's gotten a turn to bunt, then swap roles and play again. Fielding a bunt involves a lot of moving parts, so remind fielders to slow down the game and focus on making the right decision. Even though hitters are bunting, they should still choose their pitches just as wisely. Remember, in the actual game, a bunt is still a swing, so pitch selection is just as important. Pitchers pepper the strike zone from near and far in this game we call Go the Distance. Create a line between home plate and the pitcher's circle by evenly spacing three cones on the ground, starting 10 feet from the plate. Here's how it looks. The pitcher begins at the cone closest to home and gets into set position, hands together and feet spread, as you or another player sets up as catcher. Then, using only the arm circle portion of their delivery, they throw the ball to you. Once they throw three strikes, they move back a cone, repeating the process until they reach the pitching rubber. Then, they throw three strikes using their full windup and delivery before the next pitcher is up. This is a fun and effective way to get the arm loose before a game or practice. It's also a great way for pitchers to hone in on their proper release point. It should always be the same, regardless of which cone they throw from. Remember, when it comes to pitching mechanics, consistency is key.
Fielders practice catching fly balls at each position in this game we call Pop Quiz. Your team takes the field with players at each position. You stand in front of home with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Set a target number of consecutive pop-ups for the team to catch. Ready! Then throw fly balls all around the field at random. That's three! We got two more! To win, they must hit the target number of catches without the ball hitting the ground. If anyone drops the ball, they all have to start over at zero. All right, starting back at zero. Some players may copy their favorite pros and field pop-ups with one hand. Remind them that the only way to make it to the show is by securing the catch with both hands, like this. And tell them to make their voices heard. Be ready, call the ball, 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 if it's coming your way. Even when there is no doubt about where the ball is heading, it's important to develop good communication to avoid any errors in the actual game. Jogging in right here. One, two, three, Bojo! Hitters, fielders, and base runners practice in-game scenarios in this game we call The Simulator. To start, choose a few players to be hitters and runners and send everyone else out into the field. You set up 15 feet away behind an L screen with a bucket of balls. The first hitter steps up to the plate and gets into their batting stance. Whether you're coaching softball or baseball, the game is the same. You soft toss pitches to the hitter to put the ball in play. The focus is on the fielders, who must make the right play on the ball depending on what scenario you choose. Pick situations that players will frequently find themselves in during the actual game. First and third, one out. Common ones include a runner on first with no outs, runners on first and third with one out, or bases loaded and two outs. Again, bases loaded. Go in the gap, in the gap, everybody score. Everybody score. Keep going. Get four, four, four. Ah, nice play. Remember to mix in any specific scenarios that your team may have struggled with in the previous game. You gotta be ready to get to the bag, okay, if he's in the hole. Make sure you know the situation before it happens. Once the fielders make three outs, choose four of them to swap in as batters in the next round. Dominating in the field is about more than catching every ball. It's about knowing what to do with it once you have it. Simulating different scenarios will help players be prepared for every possible game situation before it happens. Hey, great job, guys. One, two, three! Let's go!